Hey guys, even here and at 5 weeks out of Arnold Classic, I know, time is flying by. At 5 weeks out, we have a, a couple of updates of these bodybuilders that are competing at this show. And we're gonna start with an update of Regan Grimes. Right here, uh, doing a sort of a most muscular, uh, let's call it a most muscular hands on the bench. Milos Archev is in the photo as well, Regan's coach, and um, this, this, this physique update of Regan Grimes. So the, the talk about Regan is basically, is he gonna be like the new big thing? I mean, we all expected him for a long, long time to finally flourish into something amazing, to like start winning shows. Some people had him winning the Arrow Classic, right in the top two, top three. Uh, right now, what we see here is this really him fulfilling his maximum potential? I don't know. I'm not really that. Im I mean, I'm not saying I'm not impressed. I'm impressed. This is a good. This is a good photo. He looks good here. But is this like I don't know, Jay Cutler kind of look? Because he's often compared to Jay Cutler. No, it's not there yet. But also, you need to check out the description of this of this photo. Uh, so he says he's five uh, five days with no carbs. So he's flat as he can get five days with zero carbs for a guy of his of his mass. You know, these days that that's not something the coaches are doing. I mean, these guys, the big guys, they don't really go that low with carbs. I mean, zero carbs. That, that's not something you see very often. But Milo Sharto is old school, as his shirt says here. So he's gonna do it the old school way with, with, with Regan. He's gonna push him to the max, you know, get him as, as lean as possible, and uh, you know that Regan is killing his workouts, even though he's on zero carbs, he's still training like a maniac, and he's five weeks out, so I'm guessing they are taking away the carbs for a minute, for a couple of days, you know, maybe a week, or maybe two, and then they're gonna introduce them back again, I'm guessing, I don't know what their strategy is, but they might be thinking that Regan is sort of late, and they don't want him to, to suffer and to kill himself in the last two, like two weeks and then come super tired at the show. Maybe they want him to lose a little bit more body fat in this area at five weeks out and then later he can, he can cruise into the show. And I'm sure Milos is going to deplete him like a maniac in the final week and then fill him up like, like crazy. And I'm sure the, the effect is going to be absolutely amazing. But right now... Do I see Regan becoming this 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 huge thing with all this potential that he always had? I don't think that's gonna happen this year. But can he crack the top five? You know, if everything goes well, if everything goes really really well, it might happen because this is him super flat and he still looks pretty big and full and round. So let's just wait and see what he looks like once he is completely peeled and then carved up fully. Is his conditioning good for five weeks out? Hell yeah, it's on point for five weeks out. And look at his back. I mean, he really has a great back. In the back lat spread in particular. And in the back double bicep as well. But in the back lat spread, it just looks absolutely insane. So he has a really good back. That's not something he needs to worry about. We all know that. I mean, his back poses, like his hamstrings and glutes, also really, really good. But from the front, it's a little bit different story. And that's something where... We really need to see him improve, especially that quad fullness and roundness and the size of, the, of his arms and just the overall maturity, you know, muscularity, thickness, density. But uh, that's not really the case from behind. Like the back, it's really good. And if he comes conditioned and then filled up like nicely, and I'm sure if that will be the case, then that's gonna be that's gonna be a serious serious threat to this uh, to this Arnold Classic. I don't know how well can he plays, but I'm guessing best case scenario probably like top five. Okay, next we have William Bonac with this uh, front double bicep shot right here, where he looks good, right? I mean, he looks big and full and round. He looks like the old Bonac. Uh, here's the thing with Bonac, guys. So, William Bonac 2020 and 2021, it wasn't him at his best. His legs were not as full. He was overall a little bit flatter. He didn't have that pop, that crazy pop that he always used to have in his physique. He always peaked like perfectly, you know. He was always really full, really round, really hard. He just didn't really have that in the past couple of years. Now, why is that? We all thought it might be because he's just, you know, fading with years. It's father time. And also, there is that leg injury that prevented him from training legs 
uh, really hard. So that's that's explanation for legs. But overall, why was he losing fullness? Was it the age? Well, here we got an answer actually. Here is Bonek at two weeks out from Mr. Olympia 2020. So not even 2021, but 2020. And if he looked like this, two weeks out of a show, then why didn't he look this good at the show? This this look right here, this could have been like this would contend for the win of the Mr. Olympia because this was really good. Like he was shredded, he was full, he was round, and still he, and he also had two more weeks to peak, to dial in completely. So what happened? He explains here that he had to go to quarantine for two weeks before he was allowed to enter the USA to compete in the Mr. Olympia. So for two weeks he wasn't even able to train or to do to do a lot. He was trapped in a hotel room. He also talked about this at uh, Dennis James podcast. You can check that out. He talked about it in length. But also here he says last year was the same story. It was it was uh, same story. He was trapped in Abu Dhabi, but uh, this this time it was um, it was even worse. -ter, as he says here. So it wasn't just worse, it was worse -ter. That's 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 more bad. <laughs> Anyways, that's the explanation. That's why he wasn't at his best. He was trapped two years in a row. So just imagine what he's gonna look like at the Arnold if he doesn't have to go through this again. Is that gonna be enough for him to beat Brandon Curry and to win the Arnold Classic? You know what? It could be. It very well could be. I, I mean, if this is true, and I believe it is, I don't think he's lying or anything, this basically proves that William Bonac is not done. Not just yet. Let's wait and see what this beast is gonna look like at the Arnold Classic 2022. And what about this guy right here, Cedric McMillan? Now, Cedric... I'll just say it right now, he's done. I mean, that that's it. His career is pretty much over. He looks much, much worse in this photo right here than he ever looked before. Just take a look at the legs. The legs lost so much size. And at this point, five weeks out, he does not have enough time to bring them back. No way. He would have he would need at least like a year. A year long good off season. And that's even doubtable considering his age. So uh, he's like 44 right now. So I mean take a look at just this physique. Compare his head to his entire body and then take a look at this one you see what i'm saying i mean he used to be a big bodybuilder like a really big guy he had those really wide shoulders and he filled up his frame even though it was a huge frame he managed he filled it up he was humongous now he's but a shadow of himself at five five and a half weeks out he's already in a really good shape like you can see the glutes, the glutes are in, I mean the hamstrings, the lower back, it's all really tight, but uh, it's not conditioning what I'm worried about this time around. Yeah, it used to be his, his issue, I mean it wasn't really that much of an issue because he won the Arnold Classic with the conditioning as it was, so now with this Arnold Classic, I'm not worried about whether he's gonna be conditioned or not. This might be his best conditioning ever because he's so in at five weeks out, but it's not gonna be his his biggest ever. It, it seems like he's gonna be a much downsized version of himself. These side chest photos that he used to post uh, weeks before the before the shows that he was doing, they always looked really really impressed. It made him look humongous, and it's not really the case anymore. And it really sucks, you know, seeing guys uh, go away like this. I mean, uh, this is this is father time. It's not like with Bonac. This is, I believe, just you know, age, and also, like, he had an injury, so he wasn't able to train for a while, but he's back in the gym for quite a while now, and usually when bodybuilders take some time off and they come back, they refresh, they start looking even better after a while, but I guess that doesn't really happen when you are 44, and, you know, I'm a huge fan of Cedric, I'm, I'm, he's one of my favorite physiques of all time, when he was at his best, so it's really sad to see somebody fade like this, but... You know, it happens, everybody, everybody, it happens to everybody, and I don't know, maybe he will fix it somehow in the next coming years, but I seriously doubt that, I would be really surprised. As far as this Arnold Classic, I don't see him placing in top 5, top 6, no, I think this year, this might be 
This very well might be the last time we see Cedric on stage. The last time he did Legion Pro and he was disqualified. And, you know, he, he if he stayed there, he probably wouldn't play very well. This time he has uh, an opportunity to, to redeem himself. Will he manage to do that? I, I doubt that. I really don't think so. All right, and also we have an update, a real, this time around, a real update of Logan Franklin. So Logan, he has been posting all kinds of, of, of really good photos, videos as well, all kinds of stuff. But it seems like all those photos and videos were taken when he was prepping because this is him right now. And he has 11 months to go before he competes next time. And what is in 11 months? It's Mr. Olympia. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe he qualified in one of the post-Olympia shows, so that's why he doesn't have to do any, any more shows during the, during the course of this year, and he can just fully focus on Mr. Olympia, and that's why, I'm guessing that's why he went uh, off, or at least he is doing some, some sort of TRT or something like that, because here he doesn't look that impressive, like he lost that fullness, he probably lost, you know, some water and like glycogen from the muscles and so he doesn't look uh, you know as popping as he usually does when he's on when he's uh, blasting so i'm not sure what the hell he's doing right now is he doing like a low dose of uh, i don't know eq and, and test or primo or some other combination of two things or, or three things but at a very low dose which i hear is pretty popular these days or he's simply doing trt you know and uh, this is what he looks like right now. So he, he is definitely not blasting stuff right now. And still, he looks good. He looks great. I mean, he wouldn't post his photo if he didn't feel like he looks great. So I'm sure he got a good pump and he found a really good lighting. And you can see the size. He didn't lose a lot, but he just lost that pop. And in 11 weeks, whew, that, that's a long time. He can make so much progress. And I'm sure he will. But uh, let's wait until Mr. Olympia and see what he's going to look like. This guy has a lot of potential, and if everything clicks for him, we can see him in top 5 at the Mr. Olympia, eventually, this year or some other year, but I think he can do that, I think, I think he is capable of that. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this video, if you enjoyed it, please give it a like, and if you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much guys for watching, all the best, and bye bye.